Hello and welcome to the Park University CS151 video supplement to your TextPad tutorial. This part of it will cover the installation of the Java Development Kit. So the first thing we want to do is open up a browser and head to www.park.edu backslash ICS. Here you'll find your software resources, including tutorials. And we want the TextPad tutorial. And the tutorial instructs us that our first, or rather our next visit, will be to the Java download page. This is the download we want the JDK and we can click on any of these helpful links just be sure you get the JDK and not the uh, JRE that would be the runtime environment we want the developers kit SE is standard edition and the 6U21 is the version and the update and we're going to download that need to select our platform you can register there if you so desire. We'll click on that. I already have this, but I'll go ahead and reinstall it anyway so that we can all take a look at what's going on with it. And I will pause the video while it downloads. Okay, so we're back. And I will allow uh, this to reinstall. And I suppose we're not back. I'll pause again while that does its thing. Okay. You'll see that the installation here is very simple. Uh, your instructions in your tutorial tell you that you can accept all of these settings. So we'll go ahead and do that. And once that little bar gets started, this shouldn't take long at all. Zoop. There it goes. All right. We'll go ahead and accept that default setting there. I want you to have a look at this error message that will come up. A DLL error is a uh, dynamic link library error. And if you uh, got that error, it's not a problem. Uh, we'll solve that. Hopefully, though, you did not. We'll finish. And we can either uh, register now or not. I think I'm going to pass on that, but I might suggest that uh, if you haven't registered before, you might want to. Okay. So we've got this uh, important notice here done. We've installed the Java compiler before installing TextPad. Um, I'm going to do TextPad on the next tutorial. If you did get that error, then go ahead and stick around and we'll deal with that. Um, basically, what we want to do with that error is whoop, come into our Windows Explorer and find Java in our program files. There's Java. Click on your JDK download, and you'll notice a file called bin, short for binary. Uh, also notice that under your program x86 files, you'll also find a Java folder with no bin file. So if you don't see the bin file, you're in the wrong set of program files. Okay, let's go back to the correct one. Whoop, let me 
do that right out of the Java folder actually. Okay, so we click on that, we have Ben here, click on that so we're actually inside that folder and if we double click on our address bar, or actually just single click, uh, the actual address in our local drive will come out. Copy that, control C, and you can go ahead and exit out of that window. We'll go down to our start button again, go into our control panel, and we want system. We're going to go to advanced system settings, environment variables, and you're looking for path. Up here you can see I've already inserted the path in. Um, but what you want to do is click in here, be sure to put a semicolon and then paste that path in. Click OK. Click on path again just to make sure that it's showing up. OK. OK. All right, and basically what that did is uh, set the path for Windows 7 to, to find Java. We'll exit out of that, and that's going to conclude our first step in the TextPad tutorial, which is getting our JDK successfully downloaded onto our PC. Thanks for watching, and if you've got questions about TextPad, go ahead and catch the second installment.